carpet is done around the wheel arch. When you're stretching this round, you don't be afraid to pull it, obviously not too hard, and you'll find you won't get no creases. Then you can use a wooden spoon, which is what I've used, just to get all the detail in the wheel arch. That's the carpet done. All I've got to do now is the um, panels. I've just put the um, sound deadener on there. I'm going to put the thermal insulation and then the loft insulation. That's the carpet done, both sides. Sound deadener, insulation and vapour barrier. This is one of the um, side it's carpeted. All I did is um, I put an emblem. You can get these on eBay for about five pound each. They do me VW, Vauxhall, everyone. You just glue it to the board, and then you carpet on top, and it gives you the effect of that. Just looks a little bit more professional. All I'm going to do now is make the holes all the way around and then fit it to the van. That's the rear. Just bend them over, make the cuts on the corners and curves. Make it nice and neat. That's the both cards done, left and right, both got the emblem on, the voxel sign, all i got to do now is put them in the capan. Today I'm hoping to uh, carpet this side, framework, probably cut it up there on the corner because you can't really see it and then put the panel in place and also put that panel in place and carpet the rest of that the thermal wrap fitted I've also put some tape over the holes at the end any holes in the van put tape over it goes right down into the well and I'll just put the um, loft insulation over the top. You put the them in there, and then you cap these, and it spreads them out. But when you want to take them back out, you just pull the middle bit out, and just pull the cards off, and get these out after. Therefore, you can access all the water, water wires in the back of the um, panels. That's the panel installed. goes into the recess here and then follows the contour around the outside I've rounded this off there so the corner carpet fits over there bit of a feature I'm going to remove the panel now cut a hole in here for the sliding door that's where the electrics are going to go I fitted the um, the panel. If you notice, 
I cut two slits all the way down to about here so it fits into this recess which goes back so I wanted it to fit flush under here and follow this line down here I did this using that um, lining paper from Wix um, from Wix yeah it's 2000 lining paper it's quite thick basically join it together make a full width then follow the pencil down all around where you want to make the panel cut it out and then uh, put it around 5.5 millimeter plywood which I got also from Wix as you see there's actually a tag on it there I think that's 22 pound a sheet and then I fastened it with these clips I drilled 10 millimeter holes because with a carpet on it they tend not to go too far in and you need them they need room to expand they're quite easy to fit these things you put the first bit on and then you put the pin on the outside and all you do is put a screwdriver under the edge there and you can remove them what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a template to cover this gap here and then I'm going to put a bit more plywood to about here this block is only fitted temporary to hold that in place while it was gluing this was used by a heat use the heat gun or you could put screws in it's up to you uh, make it a bit wider so I can sand it so I make a bit of a shape I mean it's not too bad the way it is once it's carpeted but this here I'm going to fill it in with plywood also and probably um, leave that at an angle like that and then just try and make a smoother edge but um what I'm going to do then is I've got a actual piece of wood behind here same thickness 5.5 so it's, a, it's just a wooden strip I've glued so it evenly bends rather than concave. That's the panel completed, fully carpeted. I've created a border around the hole so when I fit the um, shutter it sets forward a bit because there's not a lot of room behind. I'd rather not had it but it also gives it strength as well. That's, this panel's completely finished now. Just needs to fit into the van using the special clips. I fitted a roller door. Behind here is going to be the fuse box, trip switches, cut off switch. All you do is open the drawer. And there we have it what it looks like on the other side this bar is to um, stop it spreading so it makes it easier to That's the panel completely fitted. What I like about doing panels like this, it gives it more feature, more character. So here is where I'm going to be putting the fuses. Just hidden away. That is going to have um, panels on it. Little tiny ones. Fitted the same way. With a, f a 240 plug socket. Which is going to be flush. Matte black. So next thing is really to do some wiring. And get this finished 
I'm just covering the sliding door panel. Always use trim and fix adhesive and it's got to be high temperature. Quite easy to do, start at one side and then just work your way over. Go around the corners, make sure you cut right inside the corner there. And probably make two cuts here. Actually angle back there, angle back there, and, and cut the material around that far in. That's the panel finished. And the back. These just pop on. White clips. Retains the yellow clips in the van. And the ones were along the top. They're special little clips which I've got. You get them on eBay. Generally they break when you take them off. So that's that panel done. That's the um, barn doors panels fit carpet. When I start carpeting these panels, I always start with a top edge. Put the glue on the panel and the carpet. Make sure there's no creases down there. Make sure it's flat. Lift it up and then just work your way slowly back. Don't put it too hard because you've got to remember you've got to stretch it into these holes. And if it's stretched too f already, you'll even stretch it more so bear in mind that and then just get um, a spoon a wooden spoon and I use that to put the detail in so here's the back done it's not too bad the only thing is now that the fittings are going to be a light grain. I prefer them black. I may spray them. Depends. <laughs> 